No, one thing is clear when you look at the situation in the channel with the influx of individuals coming across in the small rubber boats, be it Albanians or otherwise, we're not getting good value for money, are we, with regard to what they're trying to do to stop it, if they're trying to stop it at all. And I've given you video after video after video. Somebody sent me some news uh, earlier on today in an email. I thank them for that. And it contains a phrase I've never heard before called facilitated return. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments. Everything's all right in your world. Thank you everybody for the support for the channel so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, it's good to see you all on here all the time. Check you're still subscribed, like, share, comment, and all the stuff you usually do. Marvellous, thank you. Well, let's have a look at this, shall we? We've got the issue where the boats keep coming, the people keep coming and there's no end in sight there's apparently a reduction in the numbers at the moment because of whatever reason but they fully expect that to up up itself again when the web is clearer i've driven through dover probably three times this week and it looks fine to me so i uh, i reckon it will start up again very soon well the albanians that are coming over uh, you know, it's well documented. You can Google it everywhere. Some are being booted out straight away and sent back and others end up in prison, uh, either for a crime they've already committed or something they do when they're here. You know, you know, when they're released, they're given a choice. Either stay here, be a good person or go back. And you know what they're doing to try and give them a push? Offering them a sum of money, £1,500. Yes, £1,500 of our money to try and entice them to go back, rather than a swift kick up the backside. Now, there's a whole problem with this. Well, two problems with this, actually. Number one, it's yet more money when this country is in a cost of living crisis. I know it's going to cost money to get this thing sorted out properly, but is this the way? And number two, yeah, I'll take you 1,500 quid. I'll go back to Albania. I'll be back in four days' time and I'll jump on another boat and come over again. That's what will happen. There's a link in the description below uh, where a couple of people have been interviewed using assumed names by all accounts, and one has said, I'm going to go back, I'm going to be a good boy, I'm going to get a job, and I'm going to work hard. Another one has said, no, nah, I'll take the money, but I'll be back. Uh, it'll take me about three or four days to arrange another crossing. The whole thing's a farce. I don't know who makes these policies within the halls of government that we have, but like a game of chess, they don't think of all the infinite possibilities of things that could possibly go wrong or ways that people would screw the system or work around it. I don't know about you, but that's what I feel. Anyway, have a read. Let me know what you think. I think it's a freaking scandal, personally. But anyway, I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.